Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a new room. I haven't moved. It's the same house, just this room is a bit easier to film outfit videos in and that's what I'm doing today. I want to show you four ways that I really love styling a sweater dress. I really love them. I wear them year round but for today it will be more towards the season we are in now. I just love these, they are so versatile, they're super comfy and just really easy to style, so let's just get started. So the first one is just this, it's sort of a thin uh, jersey knit material, it's very comfortable to have on, it wasn't expensive at all. This one is a little bit more form-fitting, I like them when they're a little bit looser as well because that makes them a little bit more casual, but this one is just so nice. And I love that it has the flare towards the bottom, so I just really had to wear this one. I paired it with over-the-knee boots, which I love doing. That's my favorite combination with sweater dresses. And it just gives a little bit more warmth and it just makes sure that your leg, at least as much of your leg, isn't on display. Of course, you can have a sweater dress that goes um, further down, so the hemline goes past where the over the knee boot ends, then you will have no leg on display. I like to have them a little bit shorter because I am shorter, uh, but yeah, I really love this um, boot. Let me find it. So it's this boot right here. It's stretchy faux suede. I think that's a really, it's a wise choice in an over knee boot because you don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose. So I think that's really nice. And I love that it's beige nude colored. So you get like, a little bit of that effect that it looks like your leg, but it's not because you can still see it's suede and not skin. Uh, and I just feel like it's nice to play with the contrast of a darker purple dress and a lighter beige boot instead of having all very dark colors. I think it's really nice. And also when you wear an over knee boot with the sweater dress, it does give some warmth. I've even worn thicker socks underneath just so you get even more warmth. I think it's a genius. I wear them so much. And because this dress is a little bit more on the tight side to make it a little bit more casual, dress it down a little bit because you might not want to have something that tight. I like to add either a leather jacket, a blazer, a vest, uh, a nice big scarf is really nice as well. There are so many options to kind of dress this down a little bit. So I really like that. Uh, that's the first outfit. Let's move on to the next. So the next outfit is also this uh, jersey knit type of dress. It's not as stretchy, but it's really nice. It's super comfortable. This one is from Sara from probably two years ago. I've worn this one so much. It's just so, so nice. It's quite tight to the body and a little bit short. And for this one, I decided to just not try to dress it down as much and just rather go with the vibe and dress it up a little bit. So I added some lace pattern tights. I think that's really nice. It makes it a little bit more dressy uh, because this one is knit material. And it also just makes me feel like I don't have as much of my leg on display. It feels more appropriate for the season. You do whatever you want, but I really wanted the lace tights. And I also added this shoe right here. This is also from Sara. It has the pointed toe and some PVC paneling and quite a sizable heel. You can definitely wear over the knee boots with this dress as well. I just wanted something a little bit more dressy and a little bit more variety because I wear over the knee boots so much. I like the different textures together. Again, because this one is a little bit tight, I decided to layer it with a blazer. I tend to do that with the sweater dresses that are a little bit tight because it just makes it feel a little bit... I just feel a little bit less exposed depending on what I'm doing and where I'm going you get the feeling. I'm sure you know what I mean. This is sort of the high streets answer to the Balmain blazer, which uh, my wallet is not allowing me to buy yet, but this one is actually really nice. It has the buttons and everything. I wear this one so much. And I think adding that kind of blazer to this dress makes it a little bit more dressy and still not super like too stuffy, if that makes sense, because it has the flashy buttons and everything. I think it's really nice. That's how I decided to style the second outfit. Right, and the third outfit is this dress right here. It's really long. It might not be what most people think of when they think of sweater dresses. I think the previous two are more like the classic ones, but I really love this one. And like, come on, it's knitted, ribbed, it's stretchy. It has long sleeves. It's a sweater dress, it just is. 
Anyways, I think this one is really perfect for the colder months because it is so long. It actually gives a lot of protection and I even wear thermal underwear under this one. Today I paired it with the Fila sneakers. I wear these a lot and they're a little bit dirty so I need to wash them. I really love wearing this dress with those sneakers because it gives a very casual vibe to a dress that's very tight and bodycon. So if I were to add heels it feels a little bit more dressy. I like dressing it down with the chunky sneakers. If you don't like the huge sneaker trend, you might want to scratch your eyes out at seeing this outfit, but I really like it. And you can definitely also wear it with boots. I have done that as well. I sometimes wear boots that go to the knee so you get even more warmth and protection. And that also looks really, really nice. I pair that dress with a really long coat. This one is fully wool and it's from it's like made in England kind of brand. It's the only thing I have from this brand. It's Cooper and Stoll brand, Manchester. I don't know. Anyways, it's really nice. It's not too huge and chunky, but it's 100% wool. So it's actually really, really warm. And I love having this sort of oversized coat with a dress that is very slim fit. I just love the contrast of that. Again, it really dresses down the dress. And this coat, as you can see, is also super, super long. It's almost as long as I am. And I love having the long lines, the dress is long, the coat is long, everything. It just seems nice. It goes together and I really like it. So I wear that combination actually a lot. I'm not afraid to repeat outfits because my wardrobe is uh, not big enough for me to wear something new every day. Also, I actually really like the things I buy. I love the outfits. So I just have to keep wearing them again and again because I don't tire that easily, apparently. Okay, and the final one is the dress that I have on right now. A very like classic knitted sweater dress moment. This one is really oversized, which is why I have belted it because it is quite chunky. This one is actually home knit and it's 100% wool and really warm and really cozy and surprisingly not that scratchy. I found that it really depends on the kind of wool you buy depending on whether an item will be scratchy and you will like itch your brain out or whether it's really nice and comfy and cozy. And this one is the latter which is why I wear this one so so much. But as I said because it is quite baggy I like to use a belt with it just to show people that I uh, have a waist somewhere hidden. And for this one, I also added over the knee boots. I just think it really goes with the look. It's sort of, it's warm, it's cozy. Uh, mine are not as tight as I would like them to be, but they are the right height for this dress. Again, because it is so chunky, I would try to go with something a little bit tighter because otherwise, if you have really loose wide boots as well, it can tend to look a little bit like you're swimming in your clothes, I guess. It's all about proportion and contrast and for me, not looking like I am a walking tent because I'm short, I need to have like some shape. Otherwise I just end up being like one blob. I also added a velvet headband that's a little bit padded. I really like this one, especially in black because it doesn't ha stand out too much to my hair. It just gives a little bit of interest and texture. And speaking of texture, I also added the pearl bag. So we have a lot of different textures going on here. We have knit, we have velvet, we have leather on the belt, we have pearl, we have the faux suede boots. So you can really play with this, even though it kind of seems like a very basic a sweater dress outfit to begin with. You can really play with so many things to give the outfit a little bit more interest and it's still just so comfy. So there you have four different ways of styling a sweater dress. I love them all and I have so many ways of wearing a sweater dress because I wear them so much. It was difficult to only pick four but I figured this video would be too long if not. Sweater dresses are definitely one of my go-to pieces. They are just so much fun to style. And again, a dress always makes you look a little bit more. It's just easier than picking a top and a bottom. That's what I find. Anyways, I would love to hear what you think of sweater dresses and if you wear them and how you style them. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and bye.